And then once you got over to AKA, like, have your skills kind of like, have you solidified your skills there in a way? Like, is that um confirmation? Like, do you do well in AKA to the point where you're like, yeah, damn, my skills are pretty good. Yeah, I've been at, it's coming up on a year. I've actually been at AKA. It's coming up on a year. I think it's a maybe, uh, I think it I think it just hit a year. But when I first got to AKA and like did like MMA sparring, like I was, I was not doing too good. I was, I, oh, really? I showed flashes of like, yeah, I showed flashes that I was like, I showed the coaches that I could be good and I had like potential. But uh, putting it together for the first time like that, hard sparring was kind of different. But uh, yeah, now I'm, I'm just getting smoother. Yeah, like now I feel way smoother for sure. But yeah, at first it was like rough too. Like I was getting like beat up in sparring, getting my leg kicked because I was too heavy on my lead leg. So I was more of like a boxer. So like my, I was, I was getting kicked a lot. So I was able to kind of fix that and work through that. But yeah, now, now it's going, going better. Okay, so some small learning lessons in AKA. Oh yeah, all the time, especially with yeah. so such high level people, bro. Like yeah, like yeah, yeah. There's no way like you're not always gonna be like you know winning all those sparrings and stuff. Like so yeah, even now some days I can get like cracked pretty good, so it's nice. <laughs> okay, and what was your amateur record once you joined AKA? Uh, just uh, just my boxing, kickboxing. So I was six and six and two basically. Oh, so you didn't have any MMA before you joined AKA. Correct. Correct. So gotcha. my first MMA fight was in April of last year. Yeah. Okay. A April of last year. Yeah.